outreach of talent on the continent is not a subject of debate. Up and running we go. Folks, wherever you're watching us from, welcome to the Heroes Stadium. It's Zambia versus Uganda in this under-17 World Cup qualifier match. Already there's a free kick for Zambia into a very good space. To the corner, not a well taken uh, set piece there by the... To win the Kosafa under-17 women's title in 2019 region. That's the uh, Region 5 Youth Games. Zambia on the ascendance. Zambia can make it one! Zambia! Open the lead here! Just the kind of start that they would have loved to see here. It's Namuta Chilesha scoring for the national team. Che. And Easy does it there on the ball. A little bit of a chip with uh, uh, 25 minutes or so. They haven't really played a well coordinated kind of football. What is going on? I think um, they really need to relax. Uh, we are playing against the huge uh, players who are a bit huge than us. Let's play, put the ball on the ground, knock it around. If not, if we want to play the tumbap it forward, like I said earlier, put it in the space between the defenders and the goalkeeper. And because we have pace with the three strikers that we are using, and of course for midfield, um, the captain pressing can be joining in with our pace and our intelligence. We would be able to score as many goals as we want. Let's just put the ball between, but we're just trying to uh, play, let it get away from me, let, let the girls relax and be able to play there for this game. Uh, it's, it's their game to lose. Uh, Uganda, yes, have threatened, but it hasn't been one of those games where you are like, OK, we've survived or anything. It's Uganda who've survived. We've gone, we've had, I think, four or five more chances where I could have scored. So we need to relax and be putting, I think, for me, what's important, Uganda seem to be using a high line. Let's use that to our advantage. Just put the ball behind the defenders. Let Namute, Ruth Mkoma, and... Uh, the top scorer in their league there and obviously she not threatening though but she going into the second half it looks like they might also come back with some message from their coaches uh, the, the, the the zambian side needs to also take uh, you know um, uh, time to look at such players like agnes obviously looking at the defense not too sharp as well yeah i think they really need to understand their opponents they really need to understand that it's not a done deal. They have got dangerous players who can hate us. So they need to be very uh, wary of the threat that those uh, players pose. Agnes, Sylvia, and of course uh, Esther. They need to be very wary of the challenges that those three players pose and be able to make sure they don't get chances to go one-on-one -on -one with Muiram Punte. Anything is possible once you're one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Do you think uh, the, the, the venue, the, the Hero Stadium right now, is uh, you know, not uh, fair in the, 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 the Copa Princess as very well in terms of uh, um, you know, them not being used to such a venue when you look at the way they've just slowed down? Do you think that has got something to do with the venues? I think to some extent it could be because uh, even the Copa Queens have never played from here. Uh, this is the first time a women's team is playing from this very huge, huge, huge stadium and they're more used to a compact in Coloma Stadium where once they get a through ball, it's almost uh, near the 18 yard area. So I think uh, it's something that could have impacted them here and there. But at the end of the day, the technical bench have had time with the players, they have had time to train here. So they should understand the pitch a bit more. Unlike uh, the Ugandan combatants who just uh, came in, I think, two, three days ago. From what you've seen in the first half, do you think uh, Zambia has what it takes uh, to hold on to this lead? Yes, I do. And I think we have what it takes to even score two, three more goals if we just utilize our chances. For me, it's, what remains key is utilizing the space they are leaving between the defenders and the goalkeeper. Just put the ball into that no man's uh, land. And of course, Wadanamute, Chileshe, Mest Pasula, and uh, Luthum Komachut coordinate. They could get as many goals as they want. You've raised concerns with some players going into the second half. Which are, which are some of them that you feel they need to be rested to pave way for others to make sure that uh, you know Zambia uh, uh, carries the day? Uh, personally, for me, uh, it's painful to say uh, yes. uh, blessing has not come so much into the game. It's, uh, on that occasion, she wasn't able to make it happen. Oh, mistake. Uganda can equalize. Uganda equalize. 
Does it go stand? Yes, it does stand. Uganda have an interest. Uganda are back in the game. Mistake by Mufonte and her defense gifting Uganda the only important goal here. This means more than life. This means more than oxygen to their qualification aspirations. It does put them back in the game, but a lack of poor ball reading there. The defenders could have done better. The goalkeeper was out, and Sylvia Kabene made no mistake in making it count. A little bit of some protest by the defenders, but there was nothing they could have done. Theirs was to clean their lines, and theirs was to ensure that the defender is not left bare like we had seen an unmarked goalpost and Kavene who was also on the score sheet when Uganda beat Cameroon has made it count away from home in Lusaka. There is a protest uh, from uh, coach uh, Kanyemba. Sylvia Kavene scored away from home and at home in the game against uh, Cameroon. She has scored this afternoon. That's how it happens. Was there an infringement on that occasion? Well, you wouldn't blame it on anyone. The defenders could have done better in terms of keeping their lines clean, but the protest still does continue. And the referees are trying by all means to ensure that they contain the situation here. But all to take the fall is Nana Malanda. She was the defender that was tasked to have cleared that particular threat from Sylvia Kavene. That was not done. But, but let's see the cancelled. verdict. I think it's been cancelled. So we're back. At the previous scoreline, very experienced indeed, Zulu. There's always uh, the silent uh, conflict between performance and the rationale of having such tournaments, underage tournaments, a main career. Oh, there comes the... Uganda are attacking. Uganda may score. Uganda score! The flag had gone up, nonetheless. In every moment, the defense of the... Copper Princesses once again exposed as uh, the danger last. Now Kengo was about to steal the show and equalize. That uh, is well, not properly uh, pass, executed by the Zambian defenders. They gave it away very sheepishly but they could have done a lot in terms of trying to deliver there but they did do their best